So the promised one was completed just before Advent in 2017. There's much I can say about it, but I would like to sum it up in the relationship between vulnerability and glory. The day I started writing The Promised One, I didn't know I was going to begin a song that day. In fact, it was a day when I was feeling very low. It was a Sunday, I remember, because I was singing at Mass. And even in the choir, I was just, I was just feeling my weaknesses, my insecurities and wondering, you know, why am I even here? What am I even doing with my life? I can't say what brought that on. I knew I was in a state of transitioning back to Trinidad from a time on mission and just trying to find myself and feeling lost. But I was at one of my lowest. And thankfully, I am surrounded by a community of praying people and I told one or two persons and I just asked them to pray me through the moment. And later on in the day, I went into our chapel at home and I just started playing with some chords from another song. And I was just thinking of Christmas, the season coming, Advent, thinking of Mary, thinking of the vulnerability of Jesus as a child, but thinking of the glory of Jesus as King. So the words, in Mary's arms lies a child, in Mary's arms lies a King, it flew. I was most vulnerable that day, and I think that was the opening for God's glory to shine forth. The song was finished, not on that day, but probably about a week later, when I was at our cancer hospice, I would go there for ministry on a Wednesday, and I would be around people who were suffering their way to glory. People who needed assistance, people who were on their deathbed, feeling their lowest, at their lowest. But sometimes, a lot of them knew where they were going, to eternal glory. And yes, it is a song that speaks of God's wonder. It speaks of Emmanuel being with us in the highs and lows. It speaks of our brokenness, of, of God's choice to come to our frail humanity. Jesus wanting to be vulnerable so that his glory can shine through our flesh. Emmanuel, God with us. I really be believe, I really hope that this song, this piece, this production is a gift to our Archdiocese, a gift to the church, a gift to the world. God bless you. Peace of Christ. Peace.